I had the craziest dream last night, and it's so insanely disgusting and sad that I don't even know how I could have thought about it. So, um, I was on the school bus, but I wasn't in high school. I don't know what I was doing, because, like, in the dream, I knew I wasn't in school, like, high school, but I was on a school bus. I don't know why. The bus driver almost hits a huge Mack truck that's, like, 20 feet high, and, um, she misses. She, like, swerved, and then she went back on track. But, see, the Mack truck, there was, like, another one behind it, and it... It got hit from behind, and then the the Mack truck that was in front, like, started, like, swinging, and that's when my dream, like, switched camera angles or whatever, and, like, it took, like, a top view, and I could see, like, what was going on, and, um, like, everything was happening, and then the bus, like, got off the road, there was a house, and it, like, crashed into the house's, like, patio, I, I guess it was a patio deck, yeah, it was the deck, and, um, when it hit the deck, the house, like, instantly, like, tipped over on the side as if the deck was, like, weighing it down, you know, like, balancing it. But, um, the house had completely lost its balance. It was, all of a sudden, it turned nighttime, and I was never in the bus. Like, I was always, like, outside of the bus, even though I started inside the bus. I don't know. Anyways, I got out, and I was like, oh my god, what's going on? And, like, this little girl walks out, and she's, like, doing this. <laughs> And I'm like, what is that? And then I realized she was, um, sign language. She was deaf. In my head, I knew she was looking for her mom. So I was like, okay, we gotta find this girl's mom. And she was wearing a nightgown, just so you know. Okay, so it was me and, like, someone else. I don't know who it was, but we were, we were trying, I don't know. We were standing around for a really long time. And it was getting dark. And, um, we were standing in front of a garage that it wasn't connected to the house, but it was, like, right there. All of a sudden, the garage, like, starts to open, and the girl starts, like, jumping up and down or something like that. This girl walks out. Her name is Meredith, and I went to high school with her, and I never talked to her, ever. Well, a couple of times, but, like, we weren't even friends. I was just like, what is she doing? And she looked at me, and I looked at her, and then <laughs> there was a car in the garage. Anyways, the garage opened, there was a car in there, Meredith walks out, looks at me, and then she disappears and I really didn't care because I saw like my best friend she was she was tied down onto the wheel of the car you know how um you know they put a boot in your car they put it through the um what do you call that the stuff on the wheel the rims is that what they're called hubcaps I don't know yeah hubcaps like she was tied to that and she was like screaming and crying and then I in like in my head I was like oh she's the mother of this child that's deaf and Aaron doesn't have kids so I don't understand what all that was about there's nothing in there that directly relates to what I had done yesterday or anything like that and I drew this picture Okay, so this is the house, like, do you see how the house is all crooked and crap? And that's the girl, she was wearing a nightgown, and she couldn't talk, and, like, all this squiggly stuff is, like, trees and stuff. And, um, that's the bus, it landed right there, and, like, there was, a like, a patio here, but it, like, got destroyed. And then, here's the garage. Yeah, and then, it was nighttime, so I made the sky, like dark and I put a moon in there <sighs> but anyways that's it so my other dream was really disgusting well not to me but maybe you it was sad to me um so in the dream what's going on is that survivor is having auditions and the reason why I think I dreamed about survivor is because I was watching that pirate master thing on tv <laughs> And, um, I don't like that show, but I was watching it. It started out with, like, a guy, he was, he was climbing a waterfall, and he slipped and he fell into a lake, and then, like, the camera, like, goes down to where he is, and he, he gets out of the water, and then just, like, walks away, and then I'm there, and, um, there's, like, all these village people, 
not like the YMCA village people. I'm talking about like village people, like Aztecs or something. I don't know what's going on. It was like tropical. No, 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 wait. This happened in... Hold on, I wrote this down. It happened in... Uh, East New Jersey, because in my dream there was a map. It went to New Jersey, and like it specifically said East New Jersey. New Jersey doesn't have waterfalls or a rainforest, and the Aztecs def definitely weren't there. There were no houses around, but it was like people from a village and they were having um they were doing animal and human sacrifices and i know they were doing a lot of sacrifices because i remember but i remember them doing them but i don't remember specifically what they looked like or what animal it was or what the person looked like or anything but i do remember um the only person that i remember it was um a little girl must have been three years old she had black curly hair white skin and um this thing with like a huge head i drew it hold on don't read this text but this is what it looked like and it wasn't it wasn't even a mask like this is what its eyes looked like its eyes were like that design and it had like this weird pattern like on its head and its mouth was like that too it looked like a mask, but then when I looked at it, it's it was, like, attached to the body. And I was like, oh my god, this thing is alive. He, like, did some, like, royal, like, bow to the little girl. And she really didn't know what was going on because she was, like, smiling. And the mom was sitting, like, over there. But I think she knew what was going to happen. And, like, at, like, he bowed to her. And then um, he just took a knife and stabbed her, like, right here. And I was like, oh my god, I totally, like, wasn't expecting it, because I know he did to the other people, but they kind of knew. This little girl had no idea, and, um, she was so little, and she was like, oh, it was just really sad. When he did that, he, like, put it in her, and he twisted it, and then he took it out, and, like, all this blood, like, started squirting out and gushing, and she didn't even, I thought she was gonna die, and she didn't die. She was still alive, and she was, like, crying, and she was, like, so hurt, and I think she knew she was gonna die, and, um, she ran to her mom, and she was crying, and then I guess she just died in her mom's arms, like, instead of, I thought she was gonna die instantly, and, you know, she wouldn't suffer, but she definitely suffered, and, I don't know, it was just really sad, and then, um, right after that, um, he grabbed, like, the head of a kitten, and, like, took a knife, and like the knife went okay this is the kitten's head and then this is the knife blade right here he went like this like he cut it like going this way like like that way so its head got cut down like the middle like that and it was sick because like when he did it the skin like came I don't know the, the skin didn't really cut through like only the bone did so when he did it the skin like went into the head and like the eyeballs like popped out it was really sick and then um and then like the camera switched angles again and I was watching it on it was like the, it was showing like the back of my head and then my mom was sitting behind me and I was watching the discovery channel and all this was on the discovery channel for some reason and it was in my apartment except my tv was like on a different wall <sighs> but anyway that's it